The kids are at school right now, and I'm going to make them a little treat for when they get home. Ice cream. No, I'm serious. It's for the kids. Oh, man. Forget the kids. This is good. Can, can we cut that part out? Look, this is not about my lack of self-control. This is about homemade Rocky Road ice cream with toasted marshmallow. In fact, I declare this a judgment-free zone, okay? This is about the beauty of ice cream. You're gonna need cream first. One and a half cups of milk and one and a half cups of cream. Then you need four eggs, two whole eggs, and two egg yolks. The cream goes over a medium heat to warm up. Then I'm gonna measure out four tablespoons of cocoa powder and four tablespoons of sugar. I just use equal parts. It makes it easy to remember that way. And of course, you can put more sugar or more cocoa powder. It's up to you. Now the sugar goes into the eggs. Now I just beat them up a bit here. And the cocoa powder goes into the milk, along with a pinch of salt. And I just whisk this up over a low to medium heat until the chocolate is absorbed and the milk is hot, but not simmering yet. Okay, then I take it off of the heat and I'm just gonna pour just a little bit of this into my egg mixture. And this is just to temper the eggs so they don't scramble when they get the heat. I'll do that again, just pour a little bit more. Okay, once the eggs are tempered, I'll just pour the whole thing into the pot here. And this goes back over the heat. Okay, we'll heat that back up. And I'm just gonna add a touch of vanilla to it. I'll just whisk this over a low heat for a couple of minutes. Again, you don't want this to come to a boil. And you'll notice during this time, it starts to thicken up just a little bit. That's when you know it's ready. So you'll take it off of the heat, and before this can turn into ice cream, it has to cool. So what I'm gonna do is pour this into a bowl. Now you could just chill this in the refrigerator as is, You'll just need to cover it with some saran wrap, flush up against the mixture so it doesn't create like this little film or crust on there. Or if you don't want to wait a few hours, then grab another bowl, fill it with some ice cubes, about a third of the way full. Put some cold water in there until it's about halfway full. Then place your other bowl inside of it and nestle it down into that ice water. And now this will cool off way faster. Just hold your bowl here like this so it doesn't slosh around. I use this method of cooling when I make iced coffee as well. Just two minutes of doing this saves about two hours worth of refrigerator time. In fact, in my opinion, if you do this long enough, say five or six minutes, then this is cool enough to go straight into your ice cream maker. But if you worry about it, just cover it and stick it in the fridge. Okay, now ice cream maker. Now this is the insert for the ice cream maker. And honestly, I just keep this in my freezer at all times. So it's rock solid, very cold. Put that in there and I'll pour in the mixture. Every last drop here. Now you'll just follow the instructions on whatever ice cream maker you have. For this one, you put in the insert, lid on, and turn it on. And that'll go for about 20 minutes or so. Now for the Rocky Road filling, I'm gonna do some uh, almonds and some marshmallows. Of course, we're gonna toast those. And actually, do I have chocolate chips? I do. I do have some chocolate chips. Because why not? Chocolate chips never hurt anybody. The dog, maybe. Let's not go there. All right. Now for the toasted marshmallows, I'm just gonna grab a little wooden skewer then just pierce about eight marshmallows or so on here. I'll do a couple of those. Okay, there's a few of them. And I'll just turn a little flame on and just hold these over and toast them. Should only take a minute or two. Ah, that one's on fire. <laughs> Ideally, you want it to look something like this. Now, if you don't have a gas stove, you could just use a lighter. 
and get that perfect toasting that you like. And by the way, this step is not necessary. You can just put your marshmallows in as is, but it is fun. If you do end up toasting them, make sure they rest for a few minutes afterwards so that they can cool. All right, at this point, our ice cream is almost done and it's starting to look a bit like soft serve. This is the perfect time to add all of our ingredients. So in go my chocolate chips, the sliced almonds, and then for my toasted marshmallow, I'm just gonna slide a fork down the stick here and put that in. It sticks together a little bit, but the ice cream maker will mix it up just fine. All right, this goes back on now. A couple more minutes and we'll be ready. All right, this is done. Now this is going to need to go into the freezer, you know, to firm up and be like ice cream, because this right now is kind of soft serve, see? That's what it looks like right now. I mean, this you could eat this right now. In fact, I think I might. But yeah, let's place it in these little containers here and just kind of freeze it. And it'll be ready for the kids when they get home. All right, let's give us a taste before the kids get home. Oh man, I mean, how can you not like ice cream? Tastes like Rocky Road. Oh man, forget the kids. This is good. I mean, just look at that. That's a beauty. So good. There's something about ice cream that just kind of brings you joy. The toasted marshmallows are really good. I don't know if they're worth the effort. Let me know in the comments below if you think they are, but definitely make some Rocky Road ice cream and spread some joy for someone you love. All right, that's enough. Hey guys, I made a treat for you today. Ooh. It's Rocky Road ice cream. Yes! Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I like the crunch of the almonds.